It's Sunday evening at the Meads Barlow household. Everyone goes about their business. What can't be shown on film, however, is the aching chasm in this household, one that can't be filmed and can't be filled. A daughter is absent. That daughter is Danny. From the time that your child is diagnosed, every night, 365 days a year, um, you are always on edge and, and constantly checking to make sure that your child is travelling okay. It, uh, unfortunately, what we have lived is every parent's nightmare. I think the most frightening thing for people with diabetes is having a hypo overnight. There's a lot of people have hypo unawareness and obviously when you're asleep you don't know that your blood glucose is falling. It's just the, the daily battle that is managing your type 1 diabetes. A few short months ago, on an evening just like this one, Danny finished off her dinner. It was getting late, so she kissed her mother goodnight and told her she loved her. Danny's father asked her what her blood glucose level reading was and she told him 12.2. Danny checked her pump. Yes, she still had insulin working. Danny then went to bed. A night just like any other. Danny had been a diabetic since she was five years old. Uh, an insulin pump was developed in the United States that actually, when your blood glucose falls, it alarms. And it can also alarm to a carer in another room. This new alarm technology that we're trying incredibly hard to get in is, is, is a massively important part of management of type 1 diabetes. And the most important stage is when you go to sleep. You know, you're not in control. Um, it's seven or eight hours of uh, not being able to, to check yourself or to eat. And it's just so important that we can get this technology in to improve the day-to-day -day lives of many thousands of type 1 diabetics around the world. On this particular night in her sleep, Danny went into a nocturnal hypoglycemic coma. No one knew until morning when it was too late. Why? Because a standard alarm, which alerts carers that their blood sugar has plummeted, is not available in Australia. This alarm would have sat by her parents' bed. It would have saved Danny's life. Danny was 17 years old. That's why the Danny Meads Barlow Foundation, that's what we want to do. We really want to bring this technology into Australia and we'll create the technology if we need to, if that's, if that's the, the outcome that is required for us to, to have this alarm device um, that will change the lives of parents and people that live with diabetes. I know, I know in myself that if, if this technology was here, if this alarm device was here, so would Daniela be here tonight. 